All right, hey everybody. Um, I just got back from a little trip, and as you can see, I got some things. So I decided, why not start the first of hopefully many of Cordell Prime's Vacation Haul. And to start it off, we are looking at... Getting these out of the way. Yoink! This. The new Dark of the Moon Voyager Class Optimus Prime with Deluxe Class Commodore. Now, these two came in the set together. Really nice. Looking at Prime, you can see that this might look familiar to you. That is because this is the exact same mold as the Battle Blades Optimus Prime, which I have previously reviewed. But this is much better looking. Every color on the original Battle Blades is much darker on this one. Nice dark gray for the um, gas tanks. Nice darker red all throughout. A nice darker blue. Got a nice silver here for the smokestacks, and they are a little bent. Kind of sad. Just, it's a nice looking vehicle mode. And, the little, um, little, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but the hood, <coughs> the grill, I should say, the little ornament there, has the Autobot symbol painted. Unlike the other one, which had it molded. Just a great looking vehicle mode. Now, this one does have these pretty strange details that I, that I didn't expect at first. You can see on the windshield, you've got what looks like the reflection of stars and the moon. Pretty cool, it's okay. And on the sides, you can see, you've got what looks like the stars reflecting off his sides. That's kind of a strange detail, which I, I didn't expect them to have for Hasbro to put in, but I'll admit it's a nice detail, and I think it's cool. So that's the flames and everything. Down here, the robot kibble's the same, just his legs stretched out. That's every Prime's vehicle mode. I mean, that rolls. So, let's get to Commodore. Now, Commodore here, he's a lunar buggy. Actually, a nice looking vehicle mode. Here on the front, you see you've got all these nice details, like this nice goldish color painted here. Nice grill and everything. Wheels are nicely done. Windshield looks good. Nice bolts and that around it. Inside, you've actually got seats, which I know are off center, but you got the seats, and it's cool. And on the back, you got all this going through. It's just, it's just a nice looking vehicle mode. I like it. And the nice little detail they threw in: shock absorbers. They gave this toy shock absorbers. You can see right there. I mean, this is a lunar buggy. It's made for off-road kind of stuff. You also have the gun up here, which is jointed so you can tilt it up down, extend it out, that kind of thing. You can rotate it. Nice. I like it. It rolls too. His robot kibble is, most, is mostly just his head. Nothing, nothing else major. So That's it on both the vehicle modes. So Let's transform both of these. Now Prime, to start off, you want to pull out the sides. Lift them up. Rotate them. Lift them up. Rotate them, fold down the smokestacks, now push the sides in and tab them in, like that. Now, you want to split this entire piece here, like that. Get this out of the way. Coming down to the legs first, you want to part them. So he's got, now he's got really long legs. Accordion them up and peg them together. So there you go. The feet, you want to fold down his toes, extend the heels, so now you got his feet and head flop down. Fix his fix his legs so now his um crotch is facing forward. Alright, get this out of the way. Now what you're gonna to want to do is basically come up to the front. Basically Fold down the arms, like that, and now, like the um, original Battle Blades Prime, and I know you can't really see it well, but um, his head in there, the camera's got to focus, it's, his head in there, it's deep in there, and it's really hard to get it in and get it out, so I got a little something off hand here on the side that I'm going to try to use to pull his head out, alright, I got it. There we go. Oh, no. Don't want that. Don't want that to show yet. Hopefully you can't. Oh. Come on, come on. 
Come on. Ah, oh, crap. Get rid. There. Straighten that up. Now his head's out. Take these. Pull those over. After you fold out the little gray thing on, from under his head, which will have it in here, into his stomach. The um, side windows you want to fold over like that. Side window, fold over like that, which allows you to fold these down and peg them right on in. Flip up the smokestacks, arms, bring them up, tab them in, and for some reason on this one, it's kind of tight, and I find that it once in a while kind of disconnects the uh, chest. But there you go. Rotate this around, rotate this. Keep that rotated. Slide this up. Open that up. Open the hand if I can get it. There go. Close that up. You do the same thing over here, and I find this one is a lot more of a pain to tab in to get connected. Come on. This one's a bit more of a pain. There you go. We'll go with that. Put that back up. Fix the arm. Take that around. Just do the same thing you did before. Open that up. Got the hand. And really, it's just. There we go, I got it. Now this is flopping. I think I broke this now. It's perfect. Accordion <laughs> down some waist, his torso, so it meets with his waist. Back here. Pull up these, rotate them down from a side, from a side shot. You pull those up, rotate them back. And like uh, Battle Blade, the real, the original Battle Blades Prime, this does not want to lock in. Literally, it won't save your, it won't lock in to save your life. But there you go. And here you have Battle Blades or Dark of the Moon Prime, I should say. It is robot mode, and that is still flopping. I think I broke it. Actually, I'll, I'm going to see that now. Yeah, I think I did. It's really loose. This one this one seems to hold. Oh, well. It's sad. Now, we're going to transform Commodore. First, you want to get rid of the gun. Take the wheels. Untab them. And you want to bring them in. Like that. Now, the back, you want to disconnect and fold off. Well, fold it over like that. Now, you take out the arms. Get those out of the way. This panel here, I'm going to try to get that to flip up like that. And you're going to fold down the entire front. So it becomes Commodore's chest piece, but it gets kind of hard to do. So you got to try to work his head through there. And there you go. Got it like that. Legs, you want to part the legs. Take this, fold them up to the side. There's going to be the fronts of his feet. Push that in, fold that down. Push that in, fold that down. The arms, fold out. You want to rotate them at the, the hand. This little inner, inner, inner piece here. Fold it out, kind of position his hand then. You do the same over here. Gonna try to do that. Rotate it. And basically, here he is. This is Commodore in his robot mode. Pretty nice, the both of them. I like them. Alright, for articulation on this Prime, the head rotates from left to right. The arms rotate all the way around, go in and out, rotates at the bicep, he bends at the elbow, nothing at the waist, legs go forward, back, in and out, bends at the knee, and the foot does a nice bit of pivoting. So there you go. Now, as you can see, here's where the colors really look good. You've got a, you, you got the nice kind of charcoal gray going down the legs here. 
and up here at the hip here up here at the hip got this nice silver color mixed with this nice metallic blue just the colors on this one are just so much better Ugh. just a great looking figure looking at the head you can see this head actually is different from the original Battle Blades Prime they redid the head so he no longer has light piping just painted blue eyes but he no longer has the faceplate just the, the actual mouth which I think is a nice little touch instead of up and being instead of being cheap and just painting it and just painting over they actually did some remolding and quite frankly I'm happy with that I think it's a nice little touch I like the open face pretty cool now this prime as opposed to having battle blades has hooks which of course as always I remove so there you, there you go you got the hooks so we can hook things okay and yes he has of a matrix of leadership. You open it the exact same way, you just disconnect the arms and Commodore is trying to fall. Fold up the chest, disconnect that, fold it up, and let's try to get this head up. That's where you would see the matrix, but here it is. This matrix is much better painted. It's a nice brain, isn't it? It's a nice kind of, like, I don't know what you would call it, kind of like a gold color. It really looks nice. Oh, I dropped it. There it is. It really does look nice. It looks better than the other one. I like it. It does still tab in the exact same way the other one did. But the thing is, with mine, I don't know, maybe back here is, too, is smaller. Maybe they made the peg bigger. I don't know. But it doesn't seem to want to tab in. It just pops off rather easy. You, you fold it in and there it is down deep in there. So there you go. Prime's got a much better looking matrix. There you go. Bring it up. Hopefully this will tap it. Come on, come on. There we go. And there you go. Oh, I also forgot to mention he has the same gun gimmick. My eyes a bit off. Let's see if I can fix that. There you go. He has the same gun gimmick as he did before. You can fold this out and here you go. Now, this is just all that all that like charcoal gray color. It's okay, but eh. Still fits into his hands, that kind of thing. It's alright. Pick that back up on. And there you go. Dark of the Moon Prime. Now we come to Commodore. For articulation on this guy, the head, it rotates left to right the same way, kind of gets obstructed. Tilts forward, can't really tilt down. Tilts up a little bit, not really side to side. Arms rotate all the way around, all the way around here, they go in and out. He rotates a bit at the elbow, he bends inward at the elbow. His hands, while his wrists are articulated, they can pivot. As you can see, they can pivot and rotate. The the fingers, like right here, they are articulated. Here it's articulated. Here it's articulated. Here it's articulated. The waist rotates. Legs go forward, back, in and out. Bends at the knee. Kind of rotates at the hip a bit. And there you go. Nice articulation. Oh, he's falling. Now, in terms of his head sculpt. It looks pretty nice. It looks it looks cool. Got the nice um kind of it's kind of like the same color as the Matrix was. Kind of like this goldish color. Top of what looks like a black head in there. It's a nice silver detail in the middle. Nice head. I like it. Accessory wise, he comes with this. This is his gun. It's a nicely detailed gun. I have to admit, it really does look nice. You got the bullet belt. You got it all. But the thing is, the way his hands are done, he can't hold it well. They, it just goes around it and, and it doesn't have a good grip. But, there's a way to fix that. Because of his transformation, you still have, I guess you could say, the mech tech port on his back. You can still plug this in, and the way it's jointed, 
you can give Commodore a nice little shoulder cannon. It's kind of nice. And the way it's jointed, you could have it kind of back as if, you know, I don't, it's kind of like he's laid back. Up like this. Or all the way deployed as if, take, come on Decepticons, bring it. Kind of thing. Great. I, it looks, it just looks awesome. And honestly, that's it for Commodore and Prime. Now, this set, I highly recommend. This Prime is much better than the original Voyager Prime for Dark of the Moon. As you know from my Battle Blades Prime review, that one looks like a skeleton that took up bodybuilding. This is the Battle Blades Prime mold. The definitive mold, in my opinion, for Optimus Prime. I love the inclusion of Commodore. It's, it's just awesome. You get two figures for the price of, well, not really, yeah, around the price of a regular Voyager. I think it was like 30 bucks, can't remember. But, um, it's a nice set. Commodore's a good figure. Prime's a great figure. Great mold. Definitive mold, in my opinion. It looks like Prime. It's a great set. I highly recommend it. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. Get ready for another Corridor Prime Vacation Hall, where we'll look at another certain somebody. So long, everybody.